I'm Hendrik Leber, based in Frankfurt in Germany, and I produced this book. It's not my business at all. I'm a money manager and I don't do books at all. But these people in the book, they are my heroes. Um, they changed my life, they made me wealthy, they made other people wealthy, and I'm thankful for the people who are shown in the book. Normally, if you talk about scientific theory, it's written on paper. It is concepts, it's formulas. But in the investing world, the people in this book, they shape the concepts that I work with, like the mode concept, the concept of margin of safety. I'm thankful and I think this is a dying breed. They are the dinosaurs of a bygone generation. The investing profession is relatively new. It is only 80, 90 years old. And right now we have the time of computers, of machine trading, of millisecond trading. And there are many people left who shape investment opinions and concepts anymore. So it's now a wonderful point in time to stop and say, let's look into the eyes of those people that made up the concepts that made many, many people in the world rich by finding good stocks, undervalued stocks, keeping them for a long time, etc. I think of Warren Buffett, of course my greatest hero, who changed my thinking about the stock market to the greatest degree in the mid-90s when I read his annual reports. He was actually the last one, uh, one of the last ones uh, uh, to be photographed in the book. Another great person, Charlie Munger, um, whose concepts are so radical and very clear and outspoken and open. I like his thinking about the world, about his social thinking, about the world and corruption in the world. Wonderful. Pat Dorsey, he shaped the concept of mode investing and, and wrote a book about it. Marty Whitman, um, who talks about the role of different investors and their situations and their conflicts of interest. What does a producer do? I had the idea for the book and then everybody else fell into place. A friend gave me a list of great investors. I met Michael O'Brien who took the pictures. He introduced me to a designer who had a wonderful concept for the layout. We then found a writer who could make the stories, found the publisher and the print book. It takes many people to make this book, to make such a wonderful book. I love the book. I think as somebody might say, it will stand the test of time. I think we will like it in 10 years, 20 years, and I'm glad that we can look into the eyes of these great people who shaped my life, who changed my life, and helped me be what I am today.